Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Gigabyte P35W laptop review and test and today's review is a request. I've been posting my videos on the notebookreview.com forum and I've been asking people if they wanted me to check anything out in particular and Kaporal's come up with this question asking me and let's just zoom in a little closer uh, can you post a few pictures of the function buttons at the top? Are they exclusive volume but control buttons or are you required to press the function key first? What about the screen brightness and the other functions? Uh, can they be toggled on and off? Well, I'm going to answer all your questions in this video. Uh, so let's go straight ahead and look at the keyboard. Uh, bear in mind my camera is on uh, a tripod so it's going to be a bit shaky. But the first question I'm going to answer straight away is yes. Unfortunately, perhaps, although maybe you prefer this, all the keys are based on function keys. There are no independent uh, controls for play, stop, pause, track back, forward, volume, um, Bluetooth on, off, Wi-Fi, all of that stuff. It says all controlled through the function key, which is down in the left-hand corner here, as you might normally expect. So, all the function buttons are along the top of the keyboard, and there's a, a couple of others which I'll point out as well. So let's just work our way through them. Uh, so we have uh, the escape button, which doubles up as an eject, presumably, for the disk drive. Sleep button there. Uh, F2 looks as if it's for um, turning on your um, sensor device to find cloaked Klingon warships. F3, brightness down, F4, brightness up, F5, looks as if it's to toggle between the LCD and a monitor. F6, lock trackpad, F7 and F8 are for volume up and down, no sorry, F7 is for the mute, while F8 and F9 are for volume down and up. F10 is for looking like it just turns off the screen. F11 turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and presumably F12 is for turning on the webcam. We also have system requirements and the inserts for print screen and delete as well as the num lock doubling up as scroll lock. I'm just scanning around the rest of the uh, keyboard. We also have in the bottom here uh, which is different to uh, my other laptop. I don't know if it's uh, the same on other people's but we have the uh, play controls presumably for movie programs here on the cursor. Again function keys doubling up as stop, play, pause, track left and track right. So those are your keys. I'm going to demonstrate some of them now to see what happens. So number one, function escape, eject. Function F1 is sleep. Looking at the lights there to see when they turn off to indicate that the uh, laptop is asleep. So we can see that it's now asleep and presumably press a key to kick it back up, kick it back up uh, which is fairly quick. So function F2, this was for scanning Klingon uh, warships which are cloaked. Let's see what it actually does. So that turns off Wi-Fi. Uh, now let me just show you that again, when you do use some of the function keys you actually get a bit of an indication here at the top of what's actually going on so I'll just press that again and as you can see Wi-Fi comes back on. Next one is brightness down, I'll take the brightness all the way down to the bottom and then F3, F4 is back up on the brightness Function F5 is, uh, I think, to switch between monitors. I'm just going to see what happens now with no monitor plugged in. Absolutely nothing happens. For some reason, the HDMI cable wasn't working into that monitor, but that monitor is a bit um, temperamental. So I've had to stick in the VGA cable. Again, useful that this laptop does have the old VGA cable as well. So I will try Function F5 again and see what happens. That's giving me a blank screen, which is good. What Function F5 seems to do is just turn off the monitors. Well, I wasn't expecting that to happen. So the moral of that story is don't use Function F5, because all it seems to do is turn off the monitor, and then you're completely stuck. 
I unplugged the VGA cable, still couldn't get anything to uh, display. Um, tried to put the laptop to sleep and it was completely ignoring that command as well. So it was as if the hotkey commands were actually working either and eject didn't work. Uh, so I had to just turn off the computer from the, hot, the power button, the old hold it down for a few seconds trick to turn it back on. According to the instruction booklet it says that uh, the function F5 is uh, switch A display output between display screen and external monitor if connected or both but that definitely didn't seem to be the case um, I might try it again with a HDMI cable and see if it makes any difference but uh, that was a little bit of a concern let's move on to some more function keys uh, function F6 is to lock the trackpad so um, you can see the trackpad is moving the mouse and now the touchpad has been turned off. I'll just turn that back on. Uh, so we have a volume mute, uh, which you can probably see at the top there. It's just said volume mute and then the volume up and down, which works fine. I've already done a video on the volume, so check that one out if you have anyone interested in that one. Uh, function F10 is to turn off the monitor. Uh, now I did test this when uh, the monitor wasn't displaying because it was actually on because there was still um, a bl all black screen um, but it wasn't displaying anything but this definitely turns the monitor absolutely completely off um, because you can tell because there's absolutely no uh, backlight at all going on in that scenario uh, function F11 is to turn off the Bluetooth and I'll just turn that back on and then function F12 is to turn on the webcam on and off although it doesn't actually fire off any software it just seems to turn turn it on apparently, although there's no way to really prove that I don't think is there unless I haven't messed around with the webcam software yet so I can't really confirm or deny that. I'm just going to turn the um, Bluetooth back off. As far as I know, system requirements won't actually do anything or the inserts or scroll lock. It does tell you that scroll lock is on. and. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the top function keys. I did actually miss out, I'll just go to shaky cam again, I did uh, miss out the um, function space which actually turns on the backlight keyboard. Might not be able to tell quite well here, let me just um, get my camera sorted out and I'll turn off the lights and then I will turn on the backlight which you can see that's 50%, that's 100% and that's completely off. 50%, 100% off. So finally I'm going to test the cursor keys here uh, for the stop, pause and uh, track left and right and I'm using Windows Media Player so something nice and simple. Uh, so let's see if it works. I'm also going to use the function key keys for volume up and down and mute as well. I might as well demonstrate them while I'm doing this test. So first of all this is play pause Hi guys and welcome to a VGJ Felix video with a slight difference. This is pause. Hi guys. There we are, so that's Just moving backwards and forwards between videos. Hi guys and welcome to a VGJ Felix This is stop. And that's playing again from the start and then we'll use the volume controls at the top if I can find them. So here's mute. So the video is still playing, I can I can assure you, so we'll put the volume up. Large scale. It's time to replace my laptop, so I've decided to get a new laptop. And the reason I'm doing a video or that is full volume. Is Let me just check that the Dolby system is in action. For this particular model, despite it being from uh, quite yes, a it is because uh, so the there's like a Dolby uh, sound thing that works as well, and I can turn laptop. the volume down on this. Is a gigabyte P35. So that makes a massive difference to the sound volume in it itself. So this is 100% volume. Now I'm going to crank it down uh, on the volume controls. Let me show you the laptop I'm replacing. It's one of these, a Medion Akoyu. So that is a full uh, guide of your function uh, navigation keys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had a bit of a scare there when my laptop decided to turn the monitor off. 
uh, but it all seems to be resolved. Let's go and try this function F5 one more time, see what happens. Nothing happens when it's not plugged into a monitor. See you again soon, and of course, if you want to request any videos, go right ahead, and I'll see if I can accommodate you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon in another P35W Gigabyte Laptop Review.